Welcome to the Living the Dream Podcast with Curveball. If you believe, you can achieve. Welcome to the Living the Dream with Curveball Podcast, a show where I interview guests that teach, motivate, and inspire. Today, I am joined by the founder of Depth Healing Technology, Dr. G. Dr. G has a company that uses quantum physics to help with things anywhere from health, financial, physical, emotional. He can help with stress management. He can help with PTSD. He can help with a whole number of things. He has an event coming up. We've had him on the show before. He wanted to come on again. So, Dr. G, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate it, Curtis. Why don't you start off by telling everybody a little bit about yourself? Um, <laughs> okay. Well, I'm, a, I'm an older guy. I've been studying uh, formally for uh, like 53 years. And uh, first and foremost, um, for the first uh, large, large portion of my life, I'm a martial specialist. I carry three uh, samurai lineages on my shoulders. And then it's the real, real actual samurai uh, education, not commercial. And then I, uh, uh, during that, uh, all those 46 years, I had a lot of really huge injuries, including breaking my back in half and, and so many uh, different experiences where I needed to uh, heal. And in that process, I was introduced to a lot of uh, the world's greatest doctors who took care of me. So they influenced me and I learned from them. Later on in the year 2000, when I stopped teaching uh, martial craft in, Amer uh, in California formally, that's where I taught the military and so forth, um, I, I went back to school to become a formal doctor. So I, I, I went to become a doctor in my 40s, and then uh, and I got married during that process and everything. And during that process, I... I uh, I always apprentice under great masters. I, I don't pay much attention to the academic. The academic education is strictly uh, just for the paperwork, so they have the title. I, I don't care about it at all. I, I study specifically. I, I like to learn living knowledge heart to heart from great masters. So when I after I graduated and we moved from Texas to Georgia, I met one of the greatest of them all, which is uh, Dr. Larry Habersky. And that's where, from him, is where I learned uh, about cognitive dissonance, the subconscious mind, the quantum field. And then it was the divine itself during that uh, period in Georgia that uh, showed me how to do, how to apply it to distance healing. So now I'm a, I live in Thailand, folks. And if even if you're on Mars, it, it, it's of no consequence at all. I take care of everybody sitting right here. You're wherever you are. And I can connect to you through the quantum field in real time. And I change whatever your problems are right there and then. That, that's how that works. You don't, the, my clients don't require they don't have to do anything other than show up. I do everything for them. And when I say that, it's always I, I, I. But you have to understand, uh, I don't have any power. I'm a channel. So things, uh, energy and, and the divine and whatever it is that I need to channel, I'm specially... Uh, conditioned or empowered or whatever, however you want to term it, so that I can do that. I, I make a connection with you and, and with consciousness, I can uh, change anything in your body, your mind, it doesn't matter what it is. 
So that's that's what I do uh, day in and day out. Right after this podcast, I have to take care of a lady, and I, I think she's in in uh, Minnesota or something like that. So that's that's a long story short. I I I exist specifically to help humanity. That's why I was born, and I knew that uh, by by the time I was three, I always knew that. My my biggest specialty is. I can do the same thing to large collectives of people at one time. So if you have, if I have an entire boardroom of executives, I've done this many times, and they have some kind of uh, discontent among all the board members, I just remove it, and and they're immediately coherent, and they can function uh, very very well and efficiently. I just remove the interference. Most people, we're not aware of the interference because it comes from the subconscious, which means it's invisible. Uh, so we, you don't know why you're upset or you don't, you do, we do behaviors. We don't really understand why we did that. We just do it or why things, uh, we want to do something and it never works or why we can't find a, a beautiful lover or a, a husband or wife. We don't understand why. Or every time we meet somebody, they're mean to us or they they uh, betray us. or All of those things are in programs in the subconscious. And I, I have my technology, I change that. And then their life ch changes. Same thing with financial uh, ceilings. A lot of entrepreneurs call me. They can't get past a certain ceiling. I had the same problem myself for over 20 years. It's cognitive dissonance. Once I remove that, they can easily make the money that they're trying to make. Because the outer world is a reflection of your inner world. Just like all of the calamities in the world right now is the reflection of of the discontent in the collective of the, of people around the world. So the world, you look around the world and you see all this stuff, that's that's all of us. And it's and and that's a it's a mirror. Does that make sense? That makes perfect sense. Also uh tell us about your event that you got coming up. Yes. So we're literally living at a uh, very historic time. And there's a, I'm, I'm going to do this event for everybody. It's free. It's my service to the divine for people. And I highly recommend you attend. <clears throat> so what's happening is, I don't know how many thousands of years have to go by, but the earth in our solar system, it travels around the uh, Milky Way galaxy on the galactic perimeter. So it's circumambulating the, the Milky Way galaxy, everything, it's in us, it's moving, right? So every, I don't know how many thousand years, there's a window of time where the Earth aligns directly unobstructed to the center of the Milky Way galaxy. So if you know anything about uh, astrology, science uh, now knows, uh, you know, it's like peer-reviewed science, The how the cycles, the sun cycles, the moon, all of the planets, the influences that they have and how they're aligned. And then at the time of your, when you were born, that's all extremely real. That's just our solar system. But this is the galactic level. This is the Milky Way galaxy itself. Now, uh, in the India uh, hin Hindu kind of cosmology, they have periods they call yugas. And yugas, I don't know, it's something like 453,000 years or something for one yuga. We have been in the Kali Yuga period. What is Kali Yuga? Kali Yuga is a period where uh, the majority of the people really fall away from God or from the divine or from the 
uh, spiritual world, and they go it's very strongly uh, computers, technology, and um, the dark side, and all kinds of morality all goes to hell in the handbasket. And there, everything goes into corruption and uh, chaos. That's Kali Yuga. When on January the 15th, there is a 12-hour window from 6 a.m. until 6 p.m., 12 hours, where they, we, that alignment to the Milky Way gala, uh, center of the galaxy, it's called, it's termed a Mahurtan, Muhurta. It's a funny word. That time period of 12 hours is the single most powerful time ever. And it's never going to happen again, of course, in our lifetime. What it does is it signals the end of Kali Yuga. And by the end, I mean, if you're in a car going 90 miles an hour down a freeway, on a straightaway, and you take your foot off the gas, that is the mahurta. The 12 hours is taking the foot off the gas. And then what happens? Well, the car starts to slow down gradually until it comes to a stop. So the Kali Yuga period will then, it'll have no more energy to feed it, and it'll start coasting to a stop which will be about the beginning or near the end of 2025. It's not clear. Near the beginning or the end of 2025. That period ends. When it ends, a new period begins. That period is the golden age because it's cyclical. A golden age means that humanity is reunited with the divine and uh, uh, life is a very blissful thing because of the consciousness of the of the people. Life is either blissful or it's hell on earth based on your consciousness. Because as I said earlier, the outer world reflects the inner world. So consciousness is everything. Not education. Never confuse uh, edu the educated brain for consciousness. Consciousness is what is aware of thinking. Thinking is not consciousness. Consciousness watches thinking. All you are is consciousness, and uh, th uh, a lot of the thinking gets in the way. So anyway, since that period is so powerful, and it has uh, exceptional access to the divine, because it's on a galactic level, it is a time, and it's a it's a stopping of Kali Yuga. So what you can do is, and what we're going to do, is design prayers. You're going to for my my event. You write out three different types of prayers. The first type of prayer is for yourself. Second type of prayer is for your parents and your ancestors extending back six generations on mom's side, six generations on your dad's side. That's very important. And the third one is for the world, uh, the global collective, so that we avert war and we avert calamities, um, both natural and man-made calamities. So when you make the prayer, Write them out very formally and think carefully. What do you want? Not only now, but I want you to make sure you think of like within a year, two years, three years. This is the time to receive direct divine intervention for your life. The real miracles, the real deal. I have empowerments now to be able to ask uh, power that your prayers are endorsed. Uh, that's, I, I, I'm, I'm the real deal. This isn't la la land. So what you do is you, when you write the prayer, write it out like a thank you letter. So you're saying, even if it's uh, three years down the road, so you say, thank you so much. In three years, I'm, I'm enjoying my life. 
in my beautiful home with my family. You're you're making the picture as that it's real now. The amount of money you need now. The caveat that I want you to remember when you're writing that type of prayer, you have for your personal self, you must this you must state why. Why do you want it or need it? Every reason is valid. The trick is this, it's got to be the truth, heartfelt truth. If if you're trying to, if you say I need a million, if I if you give me a million dollars, I'll do this and this and, and make all kinds of prom, promises, it, the divine sees right through that. It, it will not give you the answer. If you're sincere, the prayers you write on that uh, Mahurta event will be answered, period. The only thing I can't tell you is when or how, but they will be answered. So it's a it's a very key time. It's free. You go to my website. It's going to be on Zoom. The link is there, and all you do is click on the link. Have your prayers with you. You're going to need them there. And then I'm going to lead it right through. It's, a, it's like a same sacred ceremony and then it's done and if if the time I know it's it's going to be at 8 a.m for Thailand on the 15th so if you're in America that's your evening of the 14th so wherever you are you look at the what time is it when it's 8 a.m in Thailand what time is it where you live and then Please tie in about at least 15 minutes early because I'm going to be doing everything in a, in a uh, layered, organized fashion. And then if you can, there's, I'm doing it right at the beginning of the 12 hour period. So there's, there, there's going to be like 11 hours left of that window. Anything you do that is of a nice sacred, way, any other prayers, any kind of charity acts, uh, saving or helping any little animals or even insects, anything you do that is nice, loving, uh, sacred meditations, anything, that, that all has ex extraordinary benefit and extraordinary good karma for the future not only the future while you're alive, but after you die. Here and and when and when you die, but, uh, when you die, I, I'll tell you about that some other time. But um, I can speak fairly extensively on that too. So you, we want to have all of the best karma we can possibly have, and this is the time to acquire it, because Kali Yuga is going to bring or can bring a great many types of calamities. They're already uh, well underway. Just the other day at New Year's, they had a, a whole series of earthquakes. Um, there's fires all over the place and there's war. Well, I know you got some other stuff that you want to mention about your event, but go ahead and throw out your website as well so people will know where to go to be able to get to it. Yeah, okay. So um, so now I want you to understand something. This is not La La Land. This is the real deal. It's never going to happen again, so don't miss it. Uh, the Mahurta is not common knowledge. Even, even great master astrologers are not aware of it. Only the highest mystics know about it. It's always been historic. Like when Lord Jesus was walking around and giving his sermons, that was at a time of a Mahurta then. That's why he came at that time, to try to save humanity then. Every time there's a Mahurta, the divine comes strongly because they're trying to uh, save the world, save the planet, save people. The problem is the dark side is very strong and uh, people don't take these things seriously. They don't get the message. That's why we're in the trouble we're in. But we know uh, that the Mahurta is there 
So use it and take advantage of it. Now, here's how I'm making my prayers. I recommend the same for you. I'm going to be writing mine on nice paper because it's very special. And I'm going to, I, I use gold ink. Uh, you can use blue, but I, if I recommend gold. Number two is for each kind of prayer, put it on a separate piece of paper so the prayer is um, a specific, okay? Like if you have a prayer for your finances is one, and then another page for a prayer for your health is the other, like that. And number, number two is those prayers that you write, uh, don't throw those away. You keep those. Put them in a safe place. And always keep them. Don't ever throw them away. And then um, when it comes to the prayers for your for your mother and father and your relatives, um, our life is either easy or difficult many times from either the blessing or the lack of blessing from mom and dad, first and foremost, and then our ancestors. If any of our ancestors are not in heaven, or, in, or are stuck in, at some level in some place, or if there's any kind of car, uh, generational curses or any kind of uh, generational karmic debts, they can hit us here. Now, those kind of things are require divine intervention to really clear that. I can do a little bit, but not much. It's, that's, a, that's a whole different ballgame. So when you make that division of prayers, you say things like this. If your mom and dad are alive, you, you uh, say you're so uh, grateful and happy that they're blessed, they're happy, and uh, when it comes time for them to pass on, they die in peace without any suffering, and they go straight into the light. If your parents are like mine and they're already gone, you're so grateful that your parents are liberated at peace, they're in the light, and that you're so happy that uh, you have their blessings. Now, the way the way the universe is structured, you you receive your money and wealth from your father, and your father's side, and then from mom. If your life is easy or difficult, if you always have trouble, complications, things always are. Or if everything's really smooth and everything you do works and it's easy, that's from mom. So you, when you bless, you say, "I'm so grateful for dad's blessing that I have wealth, that I have sustained wealth, that making money and receiving money is easy for me, and I'm so grateful to mom that my life it has no complications. It's it's easy, it's smooth." And I always have success. Then you say things for your for your ancestors. I uh, I'm so grateful that my ancestors are all liberated on dad's side and mom's side. If they're not liberated, if they're stuck, if they have any kind of trouble, thank you for liberating them now at this special time, releasing them and moving them into the light. And, and uh, uh, I'm great, very grateful that they bless me to be happy and healthy and protected at this special time. So that's the kind of prayer you do there. And then for the global collective, we are so grateful that uh, through divine intervention, there is no nuclear war. There is no genocide that humanity is saved and moved into the golden age smoothly, that there are no catastrophic uh, calamities. And what I'm referring to are things like tsunamis, earthquakes, so forth and so on. Those are the kind of prayers. This, this is the gravity of this 12-hour period. So think when it comes to your prayers, think carefully, and then select the wording so that it's all 
It's not like, please give me. So that's future-based. You mustn't use any future-based languaging. It's all like it happened right now. Because the divine does not, where the divine comes from, there is no future and there is no past. The other thing is the divine does not understand or recognize problems. The divine only recognizes solutions. It does not recognize problems. There are no problems in the other realms. So it's a, it's a, they are, uh, that's a different reality. We're, we're in a 3D world. There's problems. There's all kinds, but that, but where they come from, there, there isn't. So when you're talking to them, you always present the solution and you pr present it that it, it's now, right now. It's tricky because it, the way we're, uh, uh, educated, we always think like asking or looking uh, like to get it some time, I'm going to do this, 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 and then I'd like to have that. But when you're talking divine, you have to bring it at this moment. Now, as he was saying, as Curtis was saying, all you do is go to depthhealing.org. So depth healing is one word. It's, con it's connected. Depthhealing.org and right on the landing page is this event. And you'll see that there's a Zoom link. Log on at least 15 minutes early. And then um, it's a sacred uh, event. So you'd want to be bathed, have all of your prayers with you. If you have whatever is sacred for you that gives you a sense of sacredness, pictures of your mom and dad, of the, of your divine, um, candles, incense, anything like that. No, dis, no interruptions from anybody or anything. And then you just, you're going to be fully present with me and we are going to be fully present with the divine. It's going to, it'll probably take me about one hour. Okay. So, and it's, it, please tell your friends, the whole world is invited because it's for the world. And because we're all there together, there is exponential power. Anytime there is a collective, there, all of the all of the universe and everything, all of the power or the uh, uh, the power, the consciousness, it's a numbers game, folks. It's a numbers game. That's called a morphic field. The bigger the field, the more the power, and that that's why with this with this event, we're accessing the center of the Milky Way galaxy. That's I mean here on Earth we always try to tie into full moons, we tie into eclipses, and so forth, and they're enormously powerful. But that's like an amoeba on this on the on Jupiter compared to the Milky Way galaxy and this 12-hour uh, period. It's, it's unprecedented. And it's the, it, it shuts off the gas to Kali Yuga. So if you've ever been sick, you know a lot of times you, it, things get worse before you get better. Like the fever will get real, real strong just before it stops. This is Kali Yuga. So things could get much worse before it gets better. So this, this kind of event is to help stop that. Who's going to be listening? There's an entire uh, civilization of divine called the Great Compassionate Light in English, Aram Jyoti in Indian, that's going to be listening. And universal intelligence is going to be listening. So universal intelligence is the big granddaddy. That's the granddaddy of granddaddies. And then the galactic uh, level is inside that. Everything is inside universal intelligence. That's the big boy. The divine are like specialists that are here to help us. And uh, I, I really hope you'll join me. It's for you. And um, I can't think of anything else. 
Is is there anything that Curtis that uh, you want to know or that I'm forgetting? No, I think you got everything out there. Ladies and gentlemen, go to depthhealing.org and follow, rate, review, share this to as many people as possible. Share it to as many people that would like to participate. If you have any guests or suggestion topics, see Jackson102 at Cox.net is the place to send them. Dr. G, thank you for coming on. Thank you for all that you do. And thank you for offering this uh, event opportunity and sharing this event with my listeners. All right. Thank, thank you for having me on, Curtis. And uh, God bless all of you everywhere. And uh, I hope to see you soon. For more information on the Living the Dream podcast, visit www.djcurveball.com. Until next time, stay focused on living the dream.